So yesterday we went on the snowmobile ride. We logged a hundred miles. Actually, it was ninety nine point four to be exact because <laughs> I hopped on the XCR, which had zero. So I was like, perfect. We'll know exactly how many. And I was really hoping to get over that lump. I don't know if we can claim that it, the hundred miles. If it was a hundred mile ride, but it was so fun because uh, you know it was Cormorant's pastime, snowmobiling and drinking. <laughs> and everybody was out. And everyone was doing it. They had all the classics out, and uh, the trails were groomed and everything. We were cruising around. It was it was honestly a lot of fun. I end up taking a pretty hard crash. Dude. Hard enough to break my visor, Evan. It broke <laughs> my visor. I don't even know how fast I was going. Pretty um, fast. I, don't, I, had I to still been, don't know how, how you even managed to well, do it. Well, you see, that's out, what, what sled were you on? Uh, no, so my dad came with. Cause he likes snowmobiling. So, and he hasn't ridden anything, you know, like new, like what we got. He has a, like a 2010 Skidoo XRS six sled anyways. Uh, and I used to ride that all the time. So we were leaving one of the spots. And I was like, Hey, you should ride this sled and, and try it out. You know? So I hop on the XRS and like, it's significantly slower. It's a 600, but it's still a nice sled and nothing wrong with it. And I'm riding it and, uh, I'm just following Ben across this lake, just a flat, lake that we literally already went across so like normally when you go across the lake you're kind of like looking for ice ridges you gotta be careful but we already had gone across it and i was following ben he was here i was like here and i think what ultimately happened was i put my guard down because i was just thinking it's just a flat lake and maybe i wasn't holding on tight enough anyways hit this bump and the suspension on that that xr i don't want to blame the sled but the sled was set up like super super soft and it hit this bump and it's like out of nowhere and it's like boom. And then I hit another one and it threw my hand off. I like was hanging off the sled and I tried grabbing the brake. And when I grabbed the brake, I think I grabbed it too hard. And it like went, did one of those where it slid out the back end. Yeah. The sled legit went like rolled. No way. Fully rolled rotted three rolled. times. And I full on face planted at probably like. I don't know. Pretty fast, because I mean, we we're cruising across the lake. At least like forty-five. I mean, yeah. enough, enough to break my my visor. Helmet and, and blow the windshield apart. <laughs> blow the windshield apart, dude. I was very surprised. You're, I, I was. You I was confused. Me. I no. was fucking surprised too. I'm I going out there for a I'd nice imagine. easy leisurely ride, and I'm thinking, like, I wasn't even. Well, I was mad about two things. I was like, I can't believe I just did this because obviously I'm conscious about like hitting my head. Mm -hmm. It's like the last thing I want to do. I end up like. It's somehow hitting my head on just a nice cruising day, smashing my face. And, Dude. and then the, I rolled the sled, which I felt bad because it was like my dad's sled. So I'm like, come back to handlebars. It's all it's blown all apart. Yeah. The but plastics honestly, are blown off. The bars it, are blown what, down. I was, I was surprised that everything Classic. was actually fine. Cause I kept yeah. asking, I'm like, what's wrong with it? I will pay to get it fixed. The only thing that happened was one of the plastics was, was cracked. Mm. So realistically, not Pretty that good. bad, but I was just mad that, at those two things, but yeah, I don't know how it happened either. I was just as fucking. It happened so quick, and it just goes to show I I shouldn't have let my guard down. Yeah, how how fast shit can go south. Yeah, yeah, no, I I was because you were right behind me, and I remember turning around, seeing you there, and then get to the other side and turn back, and everyone's like huddled around yeah. you, and I'm like, how could something have have gone wrong yeah. within like a hundred feet? Yeah. And I came back, and I I dude, I went and looked. There's no bump. I don't know what you hit. Yeah. It, I don't know it what legit, happened. It legit just went boom. Like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to blame the sled. It's it's completely my fault. But I know for a fact if I was on the, the Polaris that I was riding, it wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Something just, it just, like, it was Dude, very it, strange. It's just you and that snowmobile. I know. I, I, I remember the last that time. I'm the, never Pretty much the last thing. time you rode that thing, you I've superman rode it a couple it. times since. But yeah, I, I do not. I just came to the conclusion after that, I said I'm never riding that sled again. That's probably a good idea. Jeff is probably <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's, Finally. Uh, let's make well, sure that I mean, happens. Yeah, I really wouldn't ride it that much ever. But yeah, you just. He's got a bad crash to ride ratio. On Dude, that sled, yeah, yeah, definitely, man. Just uh, like rolling up and and seeing like that there was a crash. I was like, of course, dude. Like I could just try it. and go for like a leisurely ride, too, and something. That's usually how it goes. Uh, and it I always legit, happens. Yeah.